Spring! Spring is here! Hurrah! Hooray! You know what that means? It's now January. Who? Happy New Year to you all and whatnot. But anyway. Hey everyone, Tony here back another Tony Spawn Watch you Adventure episode on the last episode. We what did we do? We did some stuff where we uh Well we did it. Anyway, off screen for the last couple of weeks where I haven't been recording shit because I'm an idiot. I've been basically doing the whole going to Caselia City, buying the Caselia cones and selling them to that woman in that caravan on Route 5. And basically racking up a shit ton of monies. In fact, how much do I? Well, of course, everything has to be on the fucking bum screen, doesn't it? Anyway, I have 924,366 pokey pounds. Yeah. Anyway... Also, in the last episode, I obtained my sixth and final member of my team. Again. Yep, can't really see it because it's bottom screen action for the fucking win. But anyway, it's N Zorora, which has now become a Zororak. Um, Tortoise Snarl, which we got a couple episodes back and whatnot, but. Uh, anyway, and then we also evolved our Eevee into a Flannery with no fire moves whatsoever. Um. I think Elekid also evolved into Electro Buzz. I think that might have happened on that episode, I don't know. But I do know that also Petally evolved into Litigant. And Zangus is still awesome. But with that all out and done, let's hurry this up. Because today I want to record a bunch of different shit. And I'm giving myself a time limit of only about 30 minutes for this. And as you all know, since I talk a lot of random shit and take forever just to do the simplest fucking thing. We're not gonna get a lot done in this episode. Anyway, a long time ago, Team Plus stole my Pokemon. Well, they did give it back later. Yeah, good for them. Anyway, as you can see, Drifal City has had a bit of a makeover over the two years, it seems. Anyway, battling Pokemon stronger than you. Uh, battling Pokemon stronger than you gives you more experience points. This doesn't really. Huh. Interesting. Oh, wait, come back here. Did you notice? Know it's from an article in PokePal. Press the L button while selecting a move during battle to display detailed information about that move. Really? I, I didn't know that. Hmm. Ha! Oh! You have a Pokedex. How many Pokemon have you? Uh, yeah, okay. You found 70 more? Okay. So, if you've seen about 70 or more Pokemon, which at this point I would assume you might have, he's gonna give you a Shell Bell for, you know, whatever reason. I forget, that heals you up slightly, right? Yeah, no, I don't care. Oh, can I take this bedroom since no one's using it? Also, uh, I miss bumping the DS completely off course for some reason. But anyway, he's trading Pokemon right after he came to a foreign place. Children have the gift to make friends. What, you talking to this guy? You, or you mean this guy, I guess. I gave the Pokemon a nickname. I also let it hold an item. So please take good care of it. Great! We can trade Pokemon using wireless communications even when we're apart. Yay! This was the most entertaining area ever. Oh well. Now to the 19th floor. We can live unchanged because we keep changing. I mean, Pokemon also evolve, but their natures stay the same. Oh, the Pokemon has something in its mouth. We get a Habenberry. Yeah! Well, you know. Then eat my hand, but whatever. Anyway, the digital city I remember had sort of a... of a... Dowdy? You know? Shabby look? Uh, huh. Well, this was an entertaining place to come to if you wanted a freaking free shell bell and a habenberry. Uh, anyway, next place. Uh, let's go over here. On the other side of the ocean, and all over the world, there sure are a lot of different Pokemon. Sure, sure. 
Anyway, before I forget, because knowing me, I probably would have. Here is a calcium that you can pick up. Whoa, dude! If a Pokemon uses the move Surf, it can catch a wave. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to watch the Pokemon World Tournament. Huh? The Pokemon World Tournament is in the south and southern most part of town. A terrific trainer. Let me share a training tip with you. During a po yeah, during a battle with a trainer, even if your Pokemon items are taken away, don't worry, they will be returned to you shortly or oh, safely after the battle. But disposable items seem to disappear. Oh, that's sure is a shame. Anyway, your file's gone and changed so much, I thought I've, I've been hornswoggled. My guilty pleasure is the newest films from Pocos. I, I, I made a couple of films. But they're not adult. Well, yeah, they're not adult films. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Sure. Um, anyway. To the 21st floor! What adventures wait us up here? Oh! By any chance, was your mother working in a Pokemon Center as a receptionist? You look very similar to her. Mm. The funny thing is that I actually did went back to Aspergia City like yesterday or the day beforehand. So I can get the medal for, you know, healing up home. And I think, I think your mother does say something about that. But I don't, I don't know. The woman's a bitch. Anyway, watch the first episode. You'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the Pokemon next door. I feel like it's in intimidating me. Huh? What? How? I can't even see it anymore. Where the fuck did that Scraggy go? Anyway, when things change, I prefer the way it was. And when things don't change, I get bored. I have a twisted mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I can definitely see how it's imitating you, dude. Anyway. So, what do we got on the... Well, 25th floor. Let's see. Trainer! If my Pokemon was with me, I would have challenged you for a battle. Instead, please accept this. Oh, thanks. So, so for not having a fight with this guy, you can get a big root. Oh, I already ruined it, but whatever. I already ruined it for your guys' suspense, but then again, that was already done by when it said you got a big root. But anyway, having a Pokemon hold this, and it absorb or have a Pokemon hold this, and it absorbs more HP from the target. This was a perfect item for my Pokemon signature move. Okay, so is there supposed to be some sort of secret behind knowing what his Pokemon is? Is there like some sort of super secret easter egg in which we find out that his Pokemon is a Pokemon that's signature move is such a move in which it absorbs HP? Because I'm really not in the mood to go look up what sort of Pokemon learn or signature moves have probably, it's probably one of the 5th gen Pokemon because you know in this generation freaking all the universe Pokemon had to have a signature move didn't they so anyway um okay over here we got a building. Hey trainer, the move I recommend for you is none other than Super Fang. Super Fang harvests targets HP. The user can do a considerable amount of damage even if it has low attack or the target has high defense. Okay. So does that mean that you're? Yeah, that is. I am the master move tutor. And I also I'm also obsessed with red shards. Give me red shards, and I'll thank you by teaching your Pokemon a move. Uh, sure. Pick a move from which you want to teach. Okay. So, I have 15 red shards on me somehow. I don't know how, but nevertheless, for two shards, you can learn Covet, which Eevee learned anyway whilst leveling up, I think, which is basically, uh, yeah, as you can see in the description, you, the user undearingly approaches the target as my long ass hair gets in my face then steals the target's held item anyway for two shards again you can get bug bite you can get drill shard bounce signal beam or iron head for four shards you know um let's see anyway yeah so the user by its target it also takes the berry if it's holding it and eats it obviously 
uh, drill one. The user crashes into the target while uh, rotating the body like a drill. Critical hits land more easily. Okay, it may also leave the target with paralyzation if you, yeah, bounce. I remember bounce. So you're gonna be may confuse the target. Iron head may cause flinching. Anyway, now for the six shards. Uh, super thing, which the guy next to uh, the move shooter suggested. And we got uproar, got seed bomb, and you got drool chop. And anyway, for eight charge, you got low kick and gunk shot. Ew. And then, finally, for ten shards, you can learn either fire punch, thunder punch, or ice punch. Which I think I was gonna teach to someone. I don't think it was gonna be Zingus. Because I know he can learn any of the punches. Um, it might have been... Wouldn't have been an Electro Buzz because he he knows Thunder Punch anyway, so... Uh, fuck. Uh, it, it'll come to me probably later, I don't know. Anyway. Going through here. And we have the Marketplace. Goods carried around from your file arrive in a town somewhere else. Yeah, the world is connected. Cool. Welcome. This is a this is straight from the farm. Moo moo milk. One bottle for five hundred pounds or five hundred pokey pounds. Would you like some for your trip? So one bottle or one dozen. Um, I would do the maths because obviously I've been ranking up the uh, mark in the. Uh, Avenue a lot and it's actually now like rank 8 so I could do the maths as to like comparing money wise how much I would spend on the moo moo milk I can get from there or the moo moo milk I can get from here but uh, again I'll do it off screen anyway you glad you came you want something good and show me a Pokemon level 30 or more oh strong you great take this and we get an XR belt. Pretty easy. Your Pokemon should be level, around level 30 at best. But anyway, looking at seasonal vegetables, it's fun. Because when the seasons change, the vegetables available change. Okay. Oh, you're just you're just the information woman. I guess this is the guy to go to. Okay. So right here we can get a heal powder, an energy powder, and an energy root or revival heart. These are very good items. Well, I guess kind of. Uh, I don't know. But heal powder and heal powder and it's just full heal. This is just basically a super potion, and this is just a hyper potion. But the revival heart is basically your way of uh, your max revives. Of course, it, it does cost quite cost quite a bit. And of course, as the woman, uh, and I guess the guy as well, said, uh, it will lower Pokemon's happiness when given to them. But of course, that doesn't really matter if you're... I mean, none of my Pokemon... Well, basically, there's only two more Pokemon that require ev evolutions, and they don't require happiness to do so. Plus, I don't think any of them know return, so I could stock up on, you know, revival herbs, but eh, whatever. Anyway, I used to be part of Team Plasma, yep, this guy's still here, and he's gonna be selling all the incenses. If you want your Azamarils, which you can obviously get at the ranch, you know, way early on. So, but, you know, I don't know if you want other Pokemon, blah blah blah, anyway. Um, oh, that Charles, that fucking Charles! Oh, I'm, 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 angry. I'm angry now. Where the fuck is he? You can tell how angry I am, because I'm swearing a lot more than I usually do. And I swear quite a bit, as you may know. Anyway, there must be a convenient town where everything is imported and everything is available. Is that supposed to be a reference to something that I don't know? I don't care. Anyway, um, there wasn't Pokeball, and of course there's- Oh, there he is. Oh, it's just a shame that I want to get this item first. We get- Oh, Embar- Oh, fuck. Embargo, if I recall, basically just makes it so that the opponent can't use items. You! You! Come back here, you! I'm a heartbreaker. My name. Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like. So I learned a new style of Pokemon battling. Its name? Rotation Battle. What's on, right? In Rotation Battles, you send out three Pokemon at a time and battle. One Pokemon takes the lead, position, and the other two stand on each side. The trick is, each turn you can change their position. And that's a rough explanation of rotation battles. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. Hey, 
if you want if you are a trainer. How about a rotation battle? You've got a good uh, you've got good attitude, don't you? I'm a heartbreaker. My name Charles. I'm always a full frog. Sheesh, that's embarrassing. Getting schooled when I was learning to teach. Still, you have potential. You have to understand your Pokemon to win in a rotation battle. If you want more rotation battles, go to the Pokemon World Tournament. I'm a heartbreaker. My name! Charles! Riding a bike and becoming the wind fits a bad boy like me. Yeah, man, well. Still doesn't solve the problem of me trying to buy whatever it is that you bought. Whatever. Anyway. Different kinds of Pokemon can learn different kinds of moves. Oh, no shit. I know I'm a 10 year old in this game or whatever, but come on. I'm a great. I'm grateful that you came all this way. Are you a trainer? Oh, you have a Pokedex. It's so marvelous. I wonder if you could please do me a favor. No. To be clear, I would like to see a Pokemon that knows frustration. Thank you. Okay. I would teach a Pokemon frustration just to show it to you, and then teach them another TM move that they originally had in the first place. But I can't be fucked. So instead, I'm just going to leave and talk to these people. Getting to know someone creates both joy and sorrow. Puns that were funny when you first met get old when you hear them all the time. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know how that felt, but anyway. As the gym leader of Nimbusta City, Alicia has a shockingly packed schedule. That's what you expect from an electrifying model. God fucking damn it! I thought I was done with the electric type puns when I was with fighting Watson! Oh, I could so smack you right now. Three years ago, Team Plasma talked to me into letting my dear Pokemon go. Ever since, I've been staying in hotels as I please. To be honest, I feel lonely. But it's a good thing not to have Pokemon who be left behind and feel sad after I pass away. Jeez, that's the fucking sad, isn't it? I mean, it's true, a lot of Pokemon do live longer than humans, but, I mean... <gasps> ah. An unexpected guest! This is a gift for such a person! Oh, thanks, never saw. Actually, isn't it... No, I could've sworn it's actually good for something. But anyway, hey, Stungfist, Pampor, my dear precious Pokemon, kick back and relax today. Okay, thank you. Well, this was a barrel fun hotel. Anyway, down here is where you would go for the Pokemon World Tournament. Of course. Um... <laughs> oh. I'm very sorry. The Pokemon World Tournament will commence shortly, but we're still preparing the area. Oh, you don't have the Drift Files City Badge yet. In that case, how about taking on the Pokemon Gym for us? How about you mind your own damn fucking business? And please, the love of God, is this, does this mean anything, this whole weird tunnel area? Is this just here to mock us into thinking it leads somewhere? Does it? Yeah, whatever. Anyway. I 
pretty much does it for Drift File in this case then, because over here is the gym, which we, oh, yeah, thank you. And then up here, uh, can't go that way until we'll be in the game, which is, as you can see, as long as it's taken me, it's gonna be probably another month or five. Huh? Kingdom Hearts for it over two days. Don't remember doing a venture like that, even if I did. That's, that sounds like a long, long time ago. Anyway, what am I doing? This looks like it could lead to, lead for some, oh, okay. Well, I guess it's down there, thanks, well, whatever. Anyway, and then over here we have Route 6, which isn't exactly, you know. I could progress through slightly, but. I mean, uh, I'll do it obviously at later. And of course, I could go now and actually take on Drifile City, but of course, um, like I said earlier, I'm trying to keep to a time limit for the time being. Only today, obviously, of recording for about half an hour, and that's only about seven minutes. And I doubt I'm going to be able to get through the gym in seven minutes. So let's just see what Hugh has to say, and then, you know, yeah. You know, or Matt, as I called him, I forgot. Anyway, um, challenging the gym, huh? Nice. Keep getting stronger. Let me tell you, though, Clay's tough. Even if... Yeah. Even if all you have to use against ground types is water type Pokemon, you might still be in for a rough fight. Yeah, I know, dude. Jeez, cut me some fucking slack. I'm not that stupid. That's why, on top of my delicious do what, I also have. Uh, no, the electric type's not gonna do much here. I also have a litigant. Princess litigant. With her amazing moves. Tone Geek's pretty durable, especially with that revenge, I guess, as well. And then probably, well, Flannery can't do crap, so. But anyway, yeah, I'm pretty well rounded, obviously. So anyway, I guess that does it for this episode, anyway, to begin with. And how many times can I say anyway? Anyway! So, uh, that's it. Next time on Tone Geek's Pokemon White 2 Adventure Episode! Will Tone Geek progress into the Drift Vile Gym to fight Clay? Will he ever be able to get into the Pokemon World Tournament? And will he ever act like a normal human being? Or oh, find out all of this and more! Same time, same channel! See you guys then. No, 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 bye. No, 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 why, why? No, no, no.